Yes, indeed. It is called Lothrif, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Farron's Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. Lord of the profaned capital. Yon the giant. will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. So it is that Ash seeketh embers. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are in a long loading screen, there we go. So today we are going to be starting up a new build. First things first, let's, uh, where are my presets? My default load favorite. We're just gonna go with that. Just to make things simple. Um, that's all well and good. So today we are going to be making a Dax Faith build. That said, I'm not sure if I want to go Cleric or Herald. Herald would make a bit more sense, in all honesty, just due to the fact that it's got the higher starting dexterity than cleric. It's also got the same starting strength, which I find personally to be a bit interesting. Uh, downside is the faith level. That said, we're not worried about our healing spells so terribly much, so Herald is what we're gonna go with. And let's rename to Dablamin, the devout. Oops. As it was once chosen many, many moons ago. Um, what do I want? Do I want the fire gem? It is a kind of nice thing to have. And, you know, just for starting off, just throw a fire gem on something and make it easy. <laughs> Won't be my endgame weapon anyway, so, yeah, we'll take a fire gem. Or do I want the life ring? <laughs> Who needs health? Who needs it? I don't. Not me. 
Now watch as I get wrecked by the first enemy that I come across. Uh, now, first boss, maybe. Maybe. You Dex Gundir and I, uh... We came to an understanding the last time I fought him, but... You know. I've never actually fought him with a spear. We'll see how that goes. Shouldn't be too terribly different than fighting him with any other melee weapon. And I'm not going to be focusing range on him this time. So I shouldn't have any real concerns. So, that's the thing. <laughs> now, now, let's stand up. Be nice and quick about it. In a way, I wish we could actually get back in the coffin, and it would be like the sex change coffin from so long ago. <laughs> just to see what people would say about it, just to get reactions. Hello, friend. Why is my HUD off? I forgot that I did that. Now, over this way, we're gonna go pick up this. One soul, please and thank you. It just pays to pick up every miscellaneous odd and end that we can pick up. What's this, the standard spear? So, I never checked. Uh, well, I did check, I just don't remember, basically. Uh, the standard spear is Dark Souls 1 style standard instead of Dark Souls 2 style, because Dark Souls 2 style actually had the Partisan moveset. Not the other moveset. Thank you. So I'm just gonna go around kill some things and stuff. Don't do that. Uh, and that's really all that there is over on this section. So now we have to go kill a big lizard. And that'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Doing it on the mage build, that didn't work well simply due to the uh, weapon I had. What's my shield do for its thing? It's very good. It is a standard kite shield. With slightly worn heraldry. Just ever so slightly worn. So yes, let's deal with this guy. I don't know offhand how well thrusting damage does on these. We'll be here a while. Oh, you little jerk. There we are. Thank you. Ooh, the range on that tail sweep gets me every time. Nope. Not this time. I was hoping I'd be able to R1 spam it to death beforehand, but that was, uh, not the case. But, that all ended fine. So, yeah. Basically, with that, just sort of target its front arm's face area, and you'll be able to stagger it relatively easily. Back legs, tail, that won't really make it stagger reliably, but go for the face. Go for the eyes. If you want to really be mean, just gouge them out. Just a little bit. Maybe we can give him to the fire keeper later on. I love that view. It's such a nice view. And there's Firelink. Kind of crazy to think about, but we actually are in that area later on in the game. Like, we literally are right in there because we get dropped off right over that way. It's kind of interesting, you know? Something you sort of take for granted in most games, but something I've always really appreciated about the Souls games 
is that you can go pretty much everywhere that you see. Like, that's a big thing. Aww. That range, though. So sad. Hello. My shield should be blocking your pokes. Rude dudes. Unpleasant fellows and whatnot. Okay, my jump is still tied properly. One Titanite Shard for upgrading later down the line. And a point of attack. Who drops that thing for me? Oh boy, a fading soul. It's what I've always wanted from life. Fine, I'll just stab you in the uh, nether regions and then move the spear up to your chest. Don't worry about it. That physics, that physics is uh, perfectly fine. Doesn't require any questioning whatsoever. Let's just cast this super quick. Just to top it off. That way we're not wasting Nestus. And we'll go fight the boss. We've got some running around to do after we fight this boss uh, and get into the main section up ahead. I don't believe there's an item over here. That's in the other boss fight. I wonder what happens if I try and open the door before he is uh, awake. I've actually never tried. You don't even have the option. Okay. I assumed something like that would be the case, but I, I had to try. It was worth a shot. Okay, that's enough of that. You know, there's still nothing lore-wise that explains what is up with the uh, infestation, I suppose you could call it. There we go. Also, I feel like, in a way, they could have done a better animation after you kill someone or something that has it. Just my two cents on the matter, but they could have had a better animation on it instead of it just sort of disappearing randomly. Like, you know? I don't know. Just my two cents. Just my opinion. But, it is what it is. So... Oh boy, a broken straight sword. It's what I've always wanted. Um. And the charge. Nice. I can't wait to get my Leo ring later down the line. It's a shame that I can't get it sooner rather than later. That's just a real shame. Because it would be an amazing thing to have for my starting weapon of being this spear. It would truly be 10 out of 10.
But, you know, that's just not the life we're living at the moment. Um, there's a dog over this way, if I'm remembering proper. One ember, please, and thank you. Hornet Ring is there later on in the game. In a way. It's there, in a way, in a manner of speaking. Um, do I want to go this way, or do I want to go over here first? That side, but up here. Technically, I should go this way first. This is what makes sense. I will be smart. Because we'll be doing a loop coming back up and around. And I'll do it after I level up Ted as well. It's just what makes sense. So let's just drop this in place. May I sit? And I will stand. Welcome Hello, friend. Very then, take. Very then take. Sounds good to me. Uh, do we want 17 decks right off the bat? I think we'll stick with 16 right off the bat. Um, we'll also throw in a point into vigor just for the sake of having it. Never hurts to have more health. Um... You, I don't think you give me anything just yet, other than that gesture. That's that's what I thought. That's fine. I am okay with that situation being the way that it is. One seed, please. No, not today. Okay, that's fine. And now for the trick jump. Couldn't have got it first try? Come on. Okay, I can stop being bad any time now. Oh, so close. Again. There we go. I actually didn't think I'd get that one. So the point of us coming up here is for the sake of a ring. Um... A ring, a thing, and what's going to use it? Technical terms, I know. Don't worry about it too terribly much. There's our what's going it. This is the thing. Uh, I actually don't think that I have anything I can drop for these guys just yet. Yeah. About that. Odd that I bounced off. Um... I guess I'll just drop down here for it. It makes sense. No, this side. More souls for me. And now I'll just use a heal aid instead of going back to a bonfire. Because, I mean, yeah, I could just go back to the bonfire, but whatever. Now we go over this way. Hello, Katana Man. How are you today? Tried to parry me. This is a very worthwhile thing to do. It just takes some time. And it's not like he cares to heal, so. Ooh, he actually killed me. Now that is a shame. I tried to roll back, but I got stuck against this right here. So I don't believe I got my full roll distance. Gotta watch the environment. I should have gone up and circled with him up there instead of backing up, because I would have been backed up into a mob anyway. Really, I did not play that smart. Thanks, game. 
Really? You're still not gonna let me out? You're gonna be stupid like that? Do I really have to run up this way and then wait for 10 seconds? Yeah. I don't get why it does that. I really don't. It's like the world doesn't load in and it won't let you progress until you go up and do that for no good reason. I don't get it. And charge! See, that's the easy way of doing it. I'm just bad and should feel bad. So we technically could use the Uchi right now, because I do have the uh, stats for it. I'll put it on as a backup weapon. It's not my plan for the build to use an Uchi. Oh, it makes me fat roll? Well, never mind on that. Because I'm, I'm not going to go ugly and put on the Master's attire fully. Uh, the gloves, I suppose I can get away with. But then I've got my ugly hollow wrists sticking out. And no one wants to see that, so. So long, uh, that. I actually have not messed with the katanas very much yet, so. It's worthwhile to play with it for a tad, I suppose. Who knows, maybe I'll make this my fire weapon. There's a thought. Let's do that. Let's make the... Let's make the Uchi my fire weapon. That way I've got one. I'll keep my spear as pure physical. So, Andre. I don't think... Yeah, there we go. Uh, and as far as my Estes allotment, I am going to throw it over... Uh, I guess I'll leave it right there for now. Confusions I can't do quite yet, but I... Or, rather... Upgrades I can't do quite yet, but infusions I can. So I'll give that a fire gem and go on from here. Um, do you have anything to say? Anything I want to buy? Not the scimitar. Shield-wise, still nothing. Yeah, you're you're useless to me at the moment. That's what I thought. Okay, leveling. I can upgrade something. I can level something. I'll throw another in Dex. Why not? Well, Faith, I guess. Alright. Let's get out of here. To the High Wall of Lothric. They built a wall. They built a wall. And they made us pay for it. <laughs> oh, God. It's one of those days. So... In Lothric. I go here. Get a nice little. Oh my. Oh my. I was gonna say we're gonna get a nice little close up of my beautiful face, but that was, uh. That was a tad closer than I had anticipated. Yeah, didn't expect that. Oh wow, there's signs here already? Cool. Might have to pass. Might have to pass. Yes, play and mess turned into one word. That'll happen. Might have to play around with that. Might have to mess around with that. You guys mean what I know. So fire makes the dogs freak out to try and put themselves out. It's actually kind of cool. Except that one didn't, for whatever reason, and I don't know why. Ow. Oh yeah, just slide down there. Slide down those stairs, keep going. No? Okay, fine. 
I believed in you. I thought you'd be able to manage it. But no. You're just not good enough to make it all the way down. Can't even go all the way down. Oh, hi, Halberd guy. Wow, just knock that guy over. So yeah, katanas are easy to use. No shock here. At all. Ever. Like, if you're shocked that katanas are easy to use, then clearly you don't know Dark Souls. All I've got to say about that. You are not worth messing with when you transform. Got my longbow. I'm take out some of these guys, see if I can get a good raw gem in this mess. A few extra souls here and there as well, never hurt anyone. I wonder if you do a prayer gesture at this if something special happens. Wouldn't that be interesting? I highly doubt that's the case, but wouldn't that be interesting? I'd like it, personally. Little Easter eggs like that are always kind of cool. So I can't knock them down, but the big guys can? Well, that's just not fair. All right. Kill them all. Do 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 do. Druggy drugs. These drugs are bad, okay? Hmm. That running attack, though. So much easier to deal with when they're still asleep. Uh, there weren't any more over on the downward path. Just on the upward path. Oh, Katanas. Never fail to disappoint. Binoculars are an important pickup, for the record. Very useful when free aiming spells and whatnot. That does include miracles. Up. Rude, sir. One, two. Now, if I stand here, the dragon should come, in theory. No? Huh. Okay. I know the dragon can attack you through that. I just assumed it would come. You know, I've never actually tried just running through before the dragon shows. That's a bad idea, though. Because the dragon kills all those guys. See, that's why... That's why I never try running through. I know the smart strat, I just... I wanted to try the fast strat. I'm not a speedrunner. In case you guys are not familiar with my channel, I am not a speedrunner by any stretch of the imagination. I am honestly kind of bad at the game in a lot of cases. Good, still asleep. So, yeah, that happens. An 
And oddly enough, this is actually a safe spot right here. So you can cheese the dragon with bow and arrow and all the fun stuff associated with that. Also, it appears as though it doesn't see me when I'm... You know, just lurking about. So I am going to make it keep attacking because I do want it to keep killing enemies for me. Souls and the assistance, Mr. Dragon. Their service is greatly appreciated. I have a katana in the back. Ten out of ten stabbing weapon, after all. Armor? No armor? Fine. Fine, be that way. See, this is one thing I'm actually not overly fond of, starting off as a dex build. You don't have very much in the way of options, and it's nice that they give you a katana right off the bat. A really good katana at that. But it makes a lot of dex starting playthroughs very, very extremely similar. I mean, in a way, it's unique because, well, this playthrough is unique because I started as a herald as opposed to anything else, but, you know, it's not terribly unique just yet. That said, I'm working on it. It'll get that way soon enough. Once we get to a certain point in the game and I can get the weapons I want to use, then we'll have a good time with it. But, I had a good time with this as it is, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.